the student happened to turn in really fast to cut off the line. So they were pulling into a empty parking spot that was not empty because I was in it, but um, it happened really quickly, so I didn't really know what was happening. I kind of saw it out of the corner of my eye, and then I was on the ground. And Just walking across from the school to get into the parking lot, to my car, and kid came around the corner and hit me. It was right out here on the road outside of the school, and the how of it was I was hitting my signal to pull into the turn lane. I looked right into the turn lane, and that's when the car was coming straight at me. These are only three of the many cases involving an accident in the FHM parking lot. Victims of these accidents believe that some drivers are unaware of the consequences that reckless driving can bring. Drivers our age are a little reckless, I would say. You can hurt people, which I don't think a lot of people understand. You have people that break the rules because they have to wait too long. You have a line of cars down the street because everyone's trying to get here at the same time. And then up on the student lot, you have a lot of inconsideration for other people. It's a racetrack down there uh, by where the students park. A lot of students don't know that uh, when you're driving, a car really is a weapon, that it really can hurt people. Because of the events that took place, these students have altered their daily approach to the parking lot. Now a lot of times I, I'm looking around making sure no one's coming my way. I'm a little bit more precautious and definitely for uh, other drivers. Now I, I'm very cautious pulling out of my parking space because I know a lot of students aren't really thinking about getting into an accident. They're just thinking about leaving, getting home. There are many ways an accident can easily be avoided, especially if drivers are more aware of the consequences of their actions. You think that only, only bad people get in accidents, it's not how it works. Uh, it, you never know when you're going to be in an accident and you don't want to be the one responsible for it. My advice would be to slow down. It will only take a couple more minutes to uh, be more safe because Getting into an accident is a big deal, and so if you just take the time to look around at your surroundings, then you can be a lot safer and hurt a lot fewer people.